Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Expressions team. I am Sanjay. Now from this playlist guys, we are going to create a new exciting playlist of WordPress called WordPress Plugin Dialog Material using Boilerplate. This is the upgraded version of playlist we are creating. Inside online web tutor playlists, we also have a playlist called WordPress Plugin Dialog Material using Boilerplate from scratch. But this is our upgraded version. Why it is upgraded? Because we are going to use the latest version of WordPress. And also, we will cover about each sections of plugin development using boilerplate. So inside this video, because this is our first part, so inside this video, we are going to install our WordPress about its latest version and also we will see that what is boilerplate and why we use inside plugin development. So back to Chrome browser. Now inside this online web tutor playlists, if we scroll down, now here we can find about the playlist called WordPress plugin development using boilerplate for beginners. Now here it is also is available inside in Hindi language. Now we are going to use about this plugin development series using our WordPress latest version or its upgraded version. So first thing first, let's install about WordPress to our local system. So for installation, we are going to its official website called wordpress.org to get about the latest version. So click on get WordPress. Now here we can find that we have the latest version as 5.3.2. So we need to download that. So before making this video actually I have downloaded its latest version and here we can see about 5.3.2 so I am going to extract this folder and make a separate folder inside my HTML folder. So let's create a folder something plugin boilerplate and inside this folder if I copy this installation means our zipped folder click on extract here and successfully I have unzipped that. Now I am going to remove this folder and also cut all these files and pasting right here at the root of this folder. Get rid of that. Now here let's open about called phpMyAdmin because as we know that we have to create a database as well to generate the default tables for WordPress installation. So go inside our phpMyAdmin and inside this database let's create a folder or let's say database something plugin underscore let's say boilerplate pressing enter. Now successfully we have created our database. So if we want to access call localhost this is all about our folder something plugin hyphen boilerplate now we are ready to install the WordPress to our system. Click on let's go. Here we need to provide the database name. So this is the database we have created called plugin boilerplate. We need to pass the username and the password database host and this is the table prefix as default. Click on submit. Now all we need to copy this all these informations and we need to create a file something called wp-config.php back to folder structure or simply if we will means open this file copy all the contents from here pasting in, inside this file but remember this file name is something wp-config-sample.php so we need to remove hyphen sample from the file name so if I close the file name go here let's rename this file something wp-config.php now inside this file actually we had copied and pasted all the contents from here click on run the installation now it will ask for few questions or let's say few inputs it will take so site title let's say plugin development using boilerplate and the username to log in our admin panel I am to pass the username as admin and the password is admin123. Now we need to check here 
confirm use of weak password and the email address is dummy I am going to pass that. Click on install WordPress. Now by clicking on this button actually we are installing WordPress to our local system. Now successfully we have installed WordPress in our local system. So if we click on login. Now let's pass about the admin. Admin at the rate 1 to 3. Click on login button. Now we are directly go inside our administrator panel of WordPress. Now if we want to go inside the front end, simply click on visit site. Now this is all about our front end. Go to appearances to check about the theme activation and currently 2019 theme is activated. And actually I think that our WordPress installation is far behind from the latest version because currently I am getting 5.3.2 is available. So it means that we need to again download the latest version from here. So don't worry at all. It will basically some of the little features behind this installation. So we are going to work over plugin development using boilerplate inside this. So back to our slides. Now we have seen that how can we install WordPress to our local system. Now the next question we have that is what is boilerplate and why we use it. So go to next tab. Now what is WordPress plugin boilerplate. So simply the boilerplate is a standardized organized object oriented foundation for building high quality WordPress plugins. There are some more simple examples of how the parts work together as the examples for building your plugin. In addition, the boilerplate includes easily overlooked plugin features like inline documentation and translation files. So let's understand about these statements into a simple lines. As we know that in our PHP, we have core PHP, after that we have object oriented and after covering all these things we have now PHP frameworks. Inside that framework category we have code igniter, KXPHP, Laravel framework, Y framework as well as Jane framework and several more frameworks we have. So why we need framework for development? It's because it provides a folder structure of pattern about MVC. Inside that structure, we have a model, controllers and views files. These will basically contains a standardized and organized value structure to develop our projects. The frameworks always gives a standard code formats as well as quality for building our plugins as well as building our products. So in the same case, we have a plugin boilerplate framework so that by the help of that framework actually we can develop WordPress plugins. In the simple language, we also we can develop WordPress plugin by using simple PHP files. By using that files, we can inslice our plugins, we can define our hooks, we can define the functionality and also we can install that plugin to our WordPress. But we are going to follow a framework so that the files will be easily manageable, code will be neat and clean and it will give a quality WordPress plugin development. So this is why we are using WordPress plugin boilerplate. Simply, it's a framework which gives about a standardized, organized, object-oriented foundation for building high-quality WordPress plugins. Now the next question we have that is why we use boilerplate for the plugin development? Why we not prefer the simple PHP files? So here are the list of some features actually by using boilerplates we can develop our high quality plugins. So first thing first that is organized that is standard code formats. We have a specifically a folder structure by following that actually we can create neat and clean code to develop a WordPress plugin. It will be object oriented. It means that we are going to use the PHP object oriented concept. It will follow a WordPress coding standards 
might be if we are going to create by using simple PHP files then in that condition we are not going to follow a WordPress coding standards. Actually WordPress provides a coding standards by going through it we can easily create a WordPress plugin. So this framework let's say boilerplate is successfully following coding standards of WordPress. The plugin boilerplate framework is developed by using WordPress documentation standards. It has a folder for generating our plugin, let's say, translable file. If we want to create our plugin in multiple languages, then we can easily create by using this framework. And finally, we have a plugin generator. It means by creating, if we back to Chrome browser, now go here, we have an official website called WPPB.me. If we want to generate our plugin then by following these some basic informations like plugin name, plugin slug, author URI and so on. So by filling all these inputs actually we can create a WordPress boiler plugin generator. It will create a zipped folder by going through that zipped folder actually we can fill or give our plugin functionality and also by using that folder actually we can develop that. So we will see inside next video that is how can we generate our plugin via this form. So simply for now we have to understand that if we want to generate our plugin framework then we have to go inside this website, fill all these informations and click on this plugin. It will give a zipped folder and we are going to work over that zipped folder for the plugin section. Back to slide. Now right now by going through this slide actually we understood that is what is WordPress plugin boilerplate and why we need it inside plugin development. So in the simple languages we can summarize what we have seen that is plugin boilerplate it's not nothing it's a framework which gives a well-mannered folder structure object oriented and many more features. By going through this framework actually we can develop WordPress quality plugins with following WordPress coding standards. Now again back to our WordPress installation now let's update with it latest version of WordPress. So if I click on please update now. Now here an updated version of WordPress is available. Click on update now. Now we need to provide all this information. So back to folder structure. Open about WP config file. And if I copy this line, pasting it here, let's say fs method and instead of false value, let's say direct. Save these changes. Again back here, if I click on back button, reload this page once, click on update now. And as I can see that the FTP step is now escaped. It is because actually we have added this line. Might be it will not ask in your system as I am using Linux operating system so it is asking that and could not create directory it means that I have no or the folder structure have no right privileges for that. So I am to give the permissions so let's say firstly I have to log in with the sudo user so I am to give the permission to this folder. So minus R, triple seven, and this is the folder. Now successfully we have given that. Again back here, go back, reload this page, click on update now. Now updating WordPress is in progress, so it is downloading. And successful we are getting about the installation of updated version to our latest or let's say local system. Now right now as we can see that the latest version of WordPress is now available or successfully we have installed inside our existing setup. Now version is 5.3.2. Now successfully we have installed that 
and also understood about that is what is boilerplate and why we use it. So in the next video, we will see about its folder structure as well as we will discuss about the playlist plan. How can we proceed with the quality means high quality WordPress plugin development video series. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.